Coming up next, see how you're watching Lifetime's intimate portrait of Leah Remini. By 2001, Leah Remini, the girl from Bensonhurst, was riding high on a four-year run in a successful series. As each year passed, the King of Queens was becoming more and more popular, but she and her fellow cast members never took good fortune for granted. Every year was like, oh, we got picked up again, we got picked up again, oh, we won't get picked up next year because we're bad people. Are you a bad person? We went through craziness. You know, if we pick up that gum wrapper, our show's going to get picked up. Leah could hardly believe it when the show was renewed for a fifth season in 2002. But things got even better that Christmas Eve at a special dinner with Angelo. We had the corner booth, uh, the candlelight dinner. It was very sweet, very romantic. And I said, honey, I think I dropped a hundred dollar bill around here somewhere. So I get down on a knee to look under the table to see where the bill, and she's looking under the table to see where the bill had fallen. I'm like, what? And he's kneeling beside me, and we're in this beautiful restaurant, and he, he comes up, he goes, oh, here it is, and he has this ring in his hand. It just took her by surprise, and she started crying. And I just started crying and hugging him and kissing him. And She refused to look at the ring. She was crying too much. Fifteen minutes later, I'm like, so is that a yes? It was such a beautiful moment, because I really was like, he really wants to marry me. I was, you know, I think surprised. I don't know what was going on. On July 19, 2003, Leah Remini married Angelo Pagan at the Four Seasons Hotel in Las Vegas. It went from this little, oh, we'll get married, little group of people, just some witnesses, to, okay, we're building tents, we have seats and chairs, and who's flying in, who's flying? It, it was unbelievable. I had to tease Leah because I had gotten married a couple of years before, and she had made fun of me for having, you know, the full wedding gown and veil cut to Las Vegas, full wedding gown, full veil. You know, she did the whole thing. The wedding was beautiful. It was like a P. Diddy video. Outside, it was tropical, and it was sweaty and sexy. It's just the most beautiful thing you had ever seen with candles, and like, it was right out of the most amazing movie set ever. Angela, I absolutely love you. <laughs> I loved you from the moment I saw you. For you, it took a little longer. She was like a pretty princess. <laughs> so gorgeous. I mean, you can't even describe it. You just look at it and you're just like, your heart just melts. I'm standing there and everything's fine. And then Leah starts coming down and I just turn into the biggest wimp. Then the tears just start streaming down. She just looks so gorgeous and it was such um, a magical evening. Leah, I am with you today as the person that you've helped me become. I am humbled by your honesty, I'm touched by your generosity, and I'm awed by your integrity. And, oh yeah, you make me laugh a lot too. After a honeymoon in Mexico, Leah returned to work on The King of Queens, which had been picked up for a sixth season. We still, it's not a hit in our eyes yet. And I don't know if we'll ever feel like that. We're just not those kind of people that go, we're a hit. You know, we certainly haven't gotten cars from CBS. That might help me to think we're on a hit. The entire cast and crew of the King of Queens has become extended family to Leah, especially her blue-collar TV husband, Kevin James. Their relationship was a newly married couple at the beginning, and they were sort of two actors who were just getting to know each other, and, uh, now they're two actors who have known each other for six years and uh, played a whole lot of scenes in that bedroom together. What's the matter? I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Why not? I feel fat. <laughs> Would you stop it? You're not fat, you're... I know, husky. Husky, yeah, husky. that's right. <laughs> now what's really going on? We have a real relationship, you know, we fight, we argue, we love each other, you know, it's like a, it's a family. I think it works because we're very honest with each other. If I'm annoying, Kevin will tell me I'm, you're annoying me, okay, and vice versa. It's almost like I do wear the hat of his wife without the sex, which is kind of like a real marriage. Leah has also turned the King of Queens set into a real-life family affair. Her husband, Angelo, is building his own acting career and has appeared in several episodes. Hello. How you doing? You're doing good. You're doing really good, right? You're doing good. <laughs> this 
my girlfriend, Francesca. Mm, very nice to meet you. I love your sweater. Oh. Yeah, well, Carrie's just leaving now. Yeah. Right? Uh, uh, just... <laughs> Drive away, hon. Okay. Drive away. Her sister, Shannon, has also appeared on the show and hopes to follow in Leah's footsteps. I definitely wanted to get into acting, you know, learn from her. Hello? Oh, hey. Yeah, I was just wondering if you want to get manicures later. She just teaches me a lot about life and how to deal with things. Leah's has brought her big sister, Nicole, into the act as well. Family is everything to Leah. The relationship, the having everybody together, having everybody close. My mother's here every day. I mean, she was just here two hours ago, up my ass, you know? Can you say on Lifetime? And she'll go, don't you see that I'm busy? You know, I'll go, Leah, come on. You know, I could walk out the door <laughs> and die, you know? And then you're going to feel bad <laughs> that we didn't talk, you know? So I throw those little things at her here and there. <laughs> it's a very rich family life. We have a lot of family here all the time. <laughs> and I wouldn't have any other way. Leah's sister, Shannon, has moved in with her and Angelo. And Nicole works as her assistant. And Leah is a big part of her mom and stepdad's restaurant. She'll come in and start bossing everybody around and then start waitressing and cleaning up here and cleaning up there. And this woman looked up and she was like shocked to see Leah. And she was like, are you, are you Leah Remini? And she goes, yeah. I have to work just like everybody else to make money, you know? When she's not busy acting or waiting tables, Leah's enjoying her favorite pastime, karaoke. Leah's a big karaoke freak. And I'll say, what are you doing, Leah? She's like, organizing my uh, karaoke songs, you know, in plastic sleeves with little tags. I built a karaoke bar in my basement. That's called Leah's Lounge. Just for her and Angelo, because that's all we do is just sit around till six, six o'clock in the morning and her screaming at the top of her lungs, her pet Benatar. Nobody sells a song like Leah. The problem is that I just want to sing better. So every time I get the mic, I'm like, today's my day. Pat, me and Pat Benatar are going to be in sync, totally. She hasn't found her pretty voice yet, you know, but we're working on that. She's a rock star, you know. She needs her water, her towel, uh, her set list. She takes it seriously. Karaoke notwithstanding, Angelo is Leah's first love. And the couple didn't waste any time trying to start a family. The first month, when we actually tried to make it happen, boy, I mean, we tried and tried and tried again. You got to tell me when to have sex with Angelo. He'll be very happy that he's going to get sex three days in a row. But I want to know specifically when I should do it. It, it was just like this magical night. And I said, honey, I think I did. <laughs> I think we're there. And lo and behold, she took it, the test a couple of weeks later, and boom, it was positive. And so, <sighs> I'm excited. I'm going to be the most miserable pregnant person on the planet until I find out that I'm having a healthy girl. If she gives me a little girl, I mean, my life will be complete. I think she's going to have a little brat like herself. <laughs> She's going to be a wonderful mother. And she'll no doubt be a busy one as well. In 2003, she made her mark in the feature film world, playing Vince Vaughn's wife in Old School. I had a small part, and it was so great. It was like you were hanging out with your friend at lunchtime. And Will Farrell had me crying from laughter every day. And Vince Vaughn was so charming and sweet and great. In that relatively small part, she got a lot of attention. It's where we picture Leah being as she goes forward in her career. She's shown the world that she can do whatever she wants. I mean, she's incredible, whether it be in a sitcom or in a motor oil commercial. She has a great natural talent, for one thing. Uh, some people are born with certain things that uh, you, you, can't, you, you can't learn how to do it. She has it. And you mix that with some real acting training and experience. I mean, you have to remember, she's been at this as a professional now since she's a teenager. And it is, it is culminated into this very successful comedy. But no matter where Leah's career takes her, she'll never forget where she came from or the people who matter the most. She was exactly the same when she was 12 as she is today. If there's one word that describes Leah, it's loyalty. She's very loyal. And she, with that loyalty comes integrity. Thank goodness I found her. And she's definitely a stabilizing force in my life. And it's so much better. I'm very, very thankful and grateful for that. She's uncorruptible and she's
passionate and talented enough to back it up. Leah Remini has always taken charge of her life. And despite her success, she hasn't stopped looking for ways to do things just a little bit better. I like to see myself grow more as a person. I think people think, oh, because she has a show or because she has money, you know, her life is perfect. Money doesn't buy you happiness, you know? So that's it, I'm just a regular girl <laughs> with a lot of attitude. Now that Leah is married herself, she's discovered a gold mine of new material she can use with her TV husband on King of Queens. For Lifetime's Intimate Portrait, I'm Meredith Vieira.